In this video, I'm going to be doing a Green Geeks website builder tutorial, going over how to build a website with Green Geeks web hosting step by step from start to finish. I'll be showing you how to create your site with professional website templates using a drag and drop editor, making building your website with Green Geeks quick and easy. I'll also be providing you with a Green Geeks discount so you can save some money on your Green Geeks web hosting purchase. You get up to 70% off plus a free domain name on annual plans. Let's get started with the Green Geeks website builder tutorial. The first thing you want to do to build a website with Green Geeks web hosting is to click the link in the description below so you can be taken to Green Geeks and so you can take advantage of the Green Geeks discount, getting you up to 70% off plus a free domain name if you choose an annual plan. The discount is automatically applied. A little disclosure, the link is an affiliate link meaning I receive a commission from Green Geeks at no extra cost to you. Plus you'll get an awesome Green Geeks discount. Once you click the link in the description below, you'll be on the Green Geeks web hosting page. Click the view plans button. You'll see three different Green Geeks web hosting plans you can choose from. The light, pro, and premium plan. You see you can get hosting for as low as $2.95 a month with the light plan, $4.95 a month with the pro plan, and $8.95 a month with the premium plan. The light plan is a good plan if you're going to have one website or just starting out. The light plan comes with one website. This plan comes with standard performance, 50 email accounts, 50 gigabytes of web space. The pro plan is a good plan as it comes with unlimited websites, unlimited email addresses, and unlimited web space. The pro plan also comes with better performance compared to the light plan. The pro plan also comes with on-demand backups and WordPress repair tool. The WordPress repair tool will secure your WordPress core files with clean, current versions. It will also provide software updates for WordPress core, WordPress theme, and WordPress plugins. WordPress repair tool will also optimize your WordPress database, resets WordPress administrative passwords, restores default configuration file, and .ht access values, and more. The premium plan comes with unlimited websites like the pro plan, along with all the same features like unlimited email accounts, unlimited web space, on-demand backups, WordPress repair tool, a free dedicated IP, free alpha SSL, and object caching memcached in Redis. With a dedicated IP, instead of your site sharing the same IP address with others, you'll have your own IP. The alpha SSL provides you with a site security badge on your site if you'd like, and with the Alpha SSL certificate, you'll have a $10,000 limited guarantee warranty which protects your customers. I do want to note that all Green Geek plans come with a free Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. Object caching can speed up your site and help your load times. Object caching will store database query results so that the next time the result is needed, it can be served from the cache without having to query the database over and over. Click the Get Started button on the plan you'd like to select. For this tutorial, I'm going to choose the Light plan. You'll now be on the domain page where you can choose a domain name. The domain name will be free if you select an annual term for your Green Geeks hosting purchase. If you already have a domain name from another domain register, you can type it in over on the right. When choosing a domain name, you can select the .us dropdown and you can choose a domain extension you'd like to go with. Once you have the domain name that you want, hit the next button. You'll now be directed to a page where you will enter your account information. You'll then want to go to account plan. If you click on it, you can select the Green Geeks hosting term you'd like to go with. You'll get the cheapest pricing with the annual 12 month term. After you select a term, you can change the server location if you'd like. If you click change location, you can choose between the United States, Canada, Europe, and Singapore. Next is the essential add-on section. You'll see domain locking is included free as well as total DNS control. If you chose a domain name with Green Geeks, you'll see ID Protect who is privacy. Domain privacy protects your personal information showing in the public who is database so that spammers and telemarketers don't get a hold of your information to flood your email or phone with offers of their services. When you register a domain name, no matter what company you choose, the domain goes into the public who is database as domain names are regulated. 
With domain privacy, it'll show Green Geek's default contact information instead of yours. Highly recommend domain privacy. If you click the check mark, you can unselect it if you don't want it. I'll scroll back up to the top. You'll see the total. It'll have a free domain name if you chose an annual plan. You'll see the savings you'll be getting. If you went with domain privacy, it'll have that cost up here as well. Here's an example. I'll scroll back to the bottom of the page. Next, enter your payment information in and click the Create Account button. You've now successfully purchased GreenGeeks web hosting. GreenGeeks will now email you a receipt and send you a welcome email with login details to log into the GreenGeeks dashboard so you can start creating your site. I'm here on the GreenGeeks login page. Enter your login credentials. You'll now be in the GreenGeeks dashboard. Before we install and set up WordPress to begin in creating our site with GreenGeeks web hosting, we want to install the free Let's Encrypt SSL certificate so our site is secure. Click Security in the left side menu. Click the Add SSL Certificate button towards the top of the page. You'll now be on the Select a Service in Domain for the SSL certificate. If you click the drop down under the Select a Service, you can choose the hosting service you have. Next, under the main drop down, Choose the domain name to use the SSL certificate for. Click the Continue button. All the way over to the right, click the Select Let's Encrypt button. On this page, you want to select the Confirm and Create button. Next, you'll be at the Auto Installer page. Click the Install SSL Certificate button. It'll begin setting up the SSL certificate. Once it is done, it'll take you to this page where you'll see the SSL certificate is being installed for the domain you selected. Click the Dashboard button in the left side menu. We now want to install and set up WordPress so we can begin in building a website with GreenGeeks web hosting. Click the cPanel button. You'll now be taken to the GreenGeeks cPanel page. Scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page to the Soft Aculus Apps Installer. You'll see WordPress under Scripts. Click WordPress. You'll now be on the Install WordPress page. Click the Install Now button. You'll now be on the WordPress Setup page. Where you see the Choose a Protocol, you want to change this to HTTPS. Next, choose the domain that you want to have for the WordPress installation. You'll see the version of WordPress you want to install. I'm going to keep it on the current version. Next, put in the site name, site description. You'll see you can select Enable Multi-Site WPMU and Disable WordPress Cron. I'm going to keep these unselected. Over to the right, put in the admin username, which will be the username for logging into WordPress. Put in a password and put in an email address. Scroll down and you can change the language for WordPress if you'd like. If you want anything over on the right, you can select it. You'll see Lightspeed Cache is selected. I recommend keeping this selected. Lightspeed Cache helps with website speed. Next, if you click Advanced Options, there are selections you can select if you'd like. I'm going to keep these as they are. Next, scroll down to Select a Theme. You can choose a WordPress theme for your site here. There are thousands of themes to choose from in the WordPress dashboard. I'm going to be showing you pre-made professional WordPress themes you can use and create your site via drag and drop. If you happen to see one here you like, feel free to select it, but you can do this in WordPress. Click the install button. WordPress is now being installed. It'll take just a few minutes. Once it is done installing, you will see congratulations the software was installed successfully. Click the administrative URL to go to the WordPress dashboard. This is the WordPress dashboard. Something to note, I would bookmark the administrative URL as this is the easiest way to log into WordPress to begin in creating your site. To log into WordPress, just enter your domain name with a slash wp-admin, just like you see here. This will take you to the WordPress login page for your site. Once logged in, you'll be in the WordPress dashboard. We now want to pick out a theme to begin creating a site. To pick out a theme for your site, on the far left you will see tabs. Find the appearance tab and hover over it. 
Click themes as this is where you can pick out a theme for your site. Next, click add new theme. You'll now see WordPress themes that you can choose from. There's thousands of free themes to choose from. Now I want to show you how to access free professionally designed WordPress themes and how to edit them easily with the drag and drop editor. Type in Astra in the search field. Click the install button. Once it is done installing, click the activate button. Once it is done activating the theme, you want to find the plugins tab in the side menu. Click add new. In the search field, type in starter templates. You want to click install on it, then click activate. Hover over the appearance tab in the side menu, click on starter templates. You now want to click the build your website button. Choose Elementor for the page builder. It'll now showcase a bunch of WordPress themes you can create your site with using drag and drop. You can type in the type of website you want to create to pull up templates based on that. You'll see a bunch of categories you can hover over and select to build your site. If you click a theme, it'll show you what it will look like so you can preview it. Click the X button to go back to the themes page. Now let me walk you through the steps on how to choose your theme and build your site with the drag and drop editor, Elementor Page Builder. Select the theme you want. I'll choose this one. You can upload a logo if you'd like. You can do this at a later time, so if you don't have one now, no worries. Click the skip and continue button. You now want to choose the colors and font for your site. You can update these at a later time and change them whenever you'd like. Click the continue button. You now be on the tell us a little about yourself. You don't have to fill this out if you don't want to. Just make sure under advanced options, you have each one selected. Click the submit and build my website button. It'll begin building your website. Once it is done, you'll be on the congratulations page. Click the view your website button. It'll now take you to your website and what it looks like. Now let's go over how to make edits to the WordPress theme and how to use the drag and drop editor to create your site. To make edits to your site, click the edit with Elementor tab on the top of the page. It'll now bring you to the drag and drop editor where you can create your site quick and easy. To make edits to a part of the page, just click where you want to make edits and start making edits. I can change We All Love Nature to This Is My Demo Website. If you want to make edits to the background image, right click on the section. Click Edit Selection, click Style, hover over the image and click the trash can icon if you want to remove the image. Click over the image and you can upload a photo to place here or click Media Library to upload images already uploaded in WordPress. I'll click the nine dots at the top to get back to where you can drag stuff into the page. I'll scroll down a bit on the page. You can select what you want over on the left and drag it in wherever you'd like it. If you right click on an area, you can delete it if you don't want it. By right clicking, you can duplicate something if you need to duplicate it. You can drag something over to somewhere else on the page by selecting it and dragging it over to where you want it. Over on the left, you'll see where you can link out the text to a page, change the sizing of the text, change the alignment of the text. If you click style, you can change things like the text color, another typography, the font you want to use, and more. If you scroll down to the drag widget here section, click the plus icon. You can select the structure of the section of the page you want. I'll select this one. You can then drag in whatever you'd like in the sections. If you click the folder icon, then click blocks in the menu, you can scroll through lots of pre-made blocks that you can add to a page of your site and then start replacing with your content. This makes designing your site quick and easy because you can find almost any kind of design you want for a part of the page and start building it easily. I'll select one. Click the insert button to insert it to the page. When you click the insert button on the block you like at first, 
you need to create a free Elementor account. Once it is created, you'll be able to add the blocks in quick and easy. I'll click the insert button. What I selected is now inserted on the page where I can begin editing. I'll scroll back down to the drag widget here section. If you click the starter templates icon, you can click blocks in the menu and then it'll give you lots more page design ideas you can choose from. For these, you can just click one you like. I'll click this one and then I'll click the import button to import it to the page to then start adding your own content and editing it how you want it. Now I want to cover the contact us form to show you how this works. I'm just going to drag over the WP forms. You can select the form. If you want to make edits to the form, click edit the selected form. You can click the create a new form if you want to create a new form. I'm going to click edit the selected form. It's now going to bring up the builder for the contact us form. You can hover over an area to delete it or duplicate it. You can click an area and drag it to wherever you'd like it. If you want to add something, you can drag it over from the side. If you click field options, you can click on a part of the form and then make changes from the side. You can select to make this part of the form a required or not required part to fill out. If you click advanced, you can click the part of the form you want to change and you can select between the size of the form field for that area and then change if you want anything to show in the form field where they input their information. You can click preview to preview the form. Click save to save changes. When you are done, click the X button and you'll be taken back to the editor for the page. Let's get to know the drag and drop editor Elementor better. At the bottom left of the page, you'll see the update button. Click this when you want to update the changes you've made. If you click the arrow, you can save it as a draft or save this page as a template to then use for another template of another page you create. View changes you've made to your site, click the preview changes button and it'll showcase your site. If you click responsive mode, you can view what your site looks like on desktop, tablet, or mobile devices. If you click the menu icon in the top left and click site settings, you can change the colors of your site, fonts, and more. I'll click the X button. Click the menu icon. If you choose view page, it'll show you the view of the page and this is the easiest way to get back to the WordPress dashboard. If you want to make edits to a certain page on your site, you can click it in the menu and then click edit with Elementor. To go to the WordPress dashboard, hover over your site title name and click dashboard. If you hover over the pages tab, click add new to add a new page to your site. If you click all pages, it'll showcase all the pages on your site. If you hover over the media tab and click on library, it'll show you all the images you've uploaded in WordPress. If you click add new at the top, you can then upload or drag in an image into WordPress. If you hover over post and click add new, you can create a new blog post for your site. If you click all posts, it'll pull up all the posts you have on your site. If you click the comments tab, you will see all the comments you have on your blog post. You can easily reply, mark it as spam, or trash the comment. If you hover over the plugins tab and click add new, you can then search for or browse plugins to add to your site. Any feature or customization you might want on your site, more than likely there's a plugin for that. If you hover over the appearance tab in the left side menu and click on menus, this is where you can edit the menu on your site. You can add new pages to the menu or drag a page to a different order. If you click the tiny arrow, you can change the name of it or completely delete it from the menu. If you want to create a completely new menu, you can click create a new menu. Now let me show you how to make edits to the footer area of your site along with uploading a logo, favicon, and other customizations. If you hover over the parents tab in the side menu and click customize, you'll be on the customize page. Click the footer builder. 
You can then click an area in the footer area to start making edits to that section over on the left side. You can also click what you like to edit in the left side area. Both will take you to the same place to make edits like seen here. If you click the plus icon, you can then add things you want. For this, I'll select widget one. Then if you hover over where you see the settings icon and it says general, click this. It'll now populate a welcome to block widgets. Click the got it button. This message won't show from now on. Click the plus icon. If you click the browse all button, you can scroll through all the things you can choose from the footer area. I'll click heading. You can now put in whatever you'd like. Up at the top, you can make edits. If you click the three dots over to the right, it'll give you options you can select. At the bottom, click remove heading to remove the heading from the footer. If you click the X button next to the footer element, you can then completely delete that out of the footer. If you click the pencil icon here on the left hand side, you can then choose how many columns you want your footer to be. You can then click the plus icon to add sections to that part of the footer. I'm going to click the back arrow twice. If you click site identity, you can then upload a logo and a favicon, which is the site icon for your site. Click select site icon to then upload your site icon, also known as the favicon for your site. If you click site title and logo settings, you can then change the logo to your own and make other customizations to the logo area for your site. I'm gonna click the back button twice. Now I wanna go over editing the header area of your site. Click the header builder in the menu. You can then hover over what you wanna edit in the header and click the pencil icon. You can then make changes and edit it. From the main header builder page, you can select what you want to edit over on the side as well. To edit the menu, I'll click the pencil icon, click the configure menu from here button. The primary menu is the menu here at the top in the header area. You can click this and choose between different menus created like shown earlier in the menus part of this tutorial. You can also click edit menu and then you can drag the order of pages. Click the tiny arrow and make changes like the name of the menu, or you can completely remove it by clicking remove. Click the add items button. You can now add pages to the menu, post, categories, and more. I'm gonna click the back button twice. You'll now see a bunch of different options you can select from for different parts of the site, such as blog, pages, sidebar, performance to help speed up your site, and more. You now know how to access pre-made professional templates, how to build a website with Green Geeks web hosting, and making edits to it using the drag and drop editor, Elementor Page Builder. That is my Green Geeks website builder tutorial, going over how to build a website with Green Geeks web hosting step-by-step. Step. If you have any questions, get in touch in the comments as I'm here to help you with anything you need. Give this video a thumbs up and leave us a comment Let us know if the tutorial was helpful or not as the comments help improve our tutorials. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more Green Geeks web hosting tutorial videos.